Okay, I thought I'd bring you over here and let you kind of see what's going on. They're checking out the hive. See these bees here. Checking out the hive. You can hear them. They're pretty loud. I've got the frames pretty close together. There's still a lot of bees down in this box. They're confused. They're running around looking for their queen. Chasing high beetles. I really don't want to turn that box upside down and put those high beetles in here. So far I haven't seen too many going in the entrance yet. Uh, Kind of interesting if you watch them. Attack those hive beetles. So they're really aggressive toward those hive beetles. Here's the entrance of the old box. Guards still guarding the entrance. them high beetles out by there I'm gonna move this box away and let them fly to the the new hive I don't want them high beetles in this new hive okay as promised I'm gonna give you a quick look at the frames one by one here and this is gonna be in the same order I took them out earlier so there's that frame not a lot in it on that side and there's the honey on that side Here's the next frame. And I'm gonna take a quick look for the queen. She is marked. So we might be able to see her. This is a heavy frame. Quite a bit of brood on that one. The queens are good at hiding, so we may not see her. 
last two frames. Oh, there she is. I don't know if you'll be able to see her on this frame. She right where the here she comes toward me now. Okay, we're gonna put this back down in there. They're still running high beetles out. And there's a quick look at the last frame. There's not much to see on this side. A little bit of brood, a little bit of honey. This is the one that was stuck to the side of the box, so it tore away some of it. And you'll be able to see that in some of the footage where I show you the inside of the old hive body. Sliver right up beneath my fingernail. That smarts. That's worse than the bee sting. Okay, well, I don't have any extra frames with me today, so uh, I'll have to come back and bring a couple of extra frames from out the bee yard and uh, add a frame or two to this. They still got some room. Um, I'm going to take my follower board, turn you around here, take my follower board that's got the feet on this end. As you can see, there's screw there and a screw there and I'm going to put that down so they can run those hive beetles out underneath that follower board into the empty portion of this hive they've already got some of them running out here there's a bee trying to kill one now look at it spinning it around 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 trying to kill that hive beetle smash it okay I give them a chance they're gonna get them corralled again I closed this other hive up so the bees will come out of it I smoked it a little bit hoping the bees will come out and the hive beetles will stay take them away from here and the bees are starting to come out quite a bit so there we'll give them a little bit here and I'll check on it and see how many bees are left in there like I said earlier I don't want to dump this out here somewhere where the hive beetles can get back into the new hive so I'll be back well I think I've killed most of the hive beetles that were in the box I've run most of the bees out of here with smoke. So I'm gonna smoke them a couple more times here and see if I can get the rest of them out. Now it's kind of interesting. Um, if you see the bees down on the stand, this stand's been here for quite a while and they, they've they done some washboarding and stuff. There's been, there was some conversation last night at the bee meeting and I've seen some videos with conversation about uh, washboarding whether what they're doing whether they're leaving a pheromone or, or what they're doing so it kind of leads me to believe that maybe they do leave some 
kind of a marker so the bees know where their home is because as you can see they're gathered up on that um, board there where the the entrance of the old hive was and that would be um, evidence maybe that they do leave some sort of pheromone there to find their the way home the worker bees the forager bees I've also closed the entrances of this hive down um, so they can defend it from the hive beetle infestation we've had down here so um, we'll see if that helps I've got the hive closed up I put a stick in there to keep the follower board from falling over. Normally I put a frame behind it, but uh, don't have an extra frame to put behind it. And as I said, they can come and go under that follower board. If you notice, there's a couple of bees that just went under it. There's a few bees over in this section. Uh, I found last year in my other lands hive that they run the hive beetles into the empty section of the the hive and kind of keep them corralled over there so we're going to see what happens got my old box up here most of the bees are out um, i've been smoking them i've got it covered up we'll take a quick look to see how many is left in here now yeah, there's one bee two bees three bees so I'll, I'll run those out before I leave here and uh, we'll call this off I'm gonna wrap this up for today as I mentioned earlier I'll have to bring a couple of frames out here to put in the hive but they've got room yet and uh, I'm gonna leave this hive tool in here so I have a hive tool here all the time. If I wanna run over after work or something, I don't have to worry about remembering a hive tool, so. As always, I'd like to thank everybody for watching today. And if you like this video, please give it a, a like. And if you haven't already, um, subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified of my future videos when I put them out there. Um, until we see you out the bee yard next time, happy beekeeping and thanks for watching. Enjoy your weekend. One last thing, uh, at the bee meeting last night I had one of my followers comment to me that uh, when I look at this hive it always looks like it's in the woods. Well, I told him yeah it's kind of in the woods but it's not far from the open open woods open area of the property so as you can see i'm standing up the hill from it and it's really not that far down in the woods but it's pretty heavy canopy over top of me and there's the sky there's other trees here but there's open area so I probably ought to move it up in the sun a little bit more. It'd probably help with the hive beetles. Thanks again for watching.